Dinosaurs are overrated. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Well, they kind of have to be rated because this is Pterodactyl Land. Pterodactyl Land. Pterodactyl Land. Because his level is Terry Bull. Boo, you could do better than that. Yeah, that's what I'm telling them. Boo, you can do better than this. <laughs> just, just kicking rare while they're down. All right. I well, mean, uh... be, being, being uh, bought by Microsoft, not the worst thing to happen. Well, wait, well okay. I'm trying to do something. This is how you, you get this guy over here. Do you basically have to, like, distract? Basically, you stay on that side, so that way the, the dude's always looking at you. Because the, the those uh, th those cave guys, they won't look at these Kazooie clockwork bombs here. That doesn't catch their interest, so you can just walk up behind them and then right into his bare-ass cheeks. Great. Ugh. You stay. There's still three of them left somehow. I go. He's a rock biter? No, following. No, he's Iron Giant. Oh, is he Iron Giant? Okay, yeah. okay. He's a he's Superman. Superman. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, you know, I'm, uh, oh, I wish they would have killed me. I'm, uh, I should have died! <laughs> Oh, I, uh, wait, you, didn't you talk to a dinosaur like that? Why'd you kill him? Well, he had nothing more to teach me. You could have learned his secrets! The only secret I know now is, uh, w what color are his insides. Ew! Probably the same as everything else. Yeah, what? What? There. No, well, that worked. Again, I, I feel like I'm, I'm doing something important and clever. A Jinjo is something. It's just a Jinjo! It's just a fucking Jinjo! I think you're setting your sights a little too high there, friend. I'm just trying to play the game and do stuff, and it feels like what I do doesn't matter too much. <laughs> I honestly thought that timer was Kazooie's air. No, no. And then she just dies right in front well, of Banjo. I guess, ba I guess Banjo just stays underwater while she does her torpedo thing. It well, just... he learned how to hold his breath. It's Kazooie doing the breathing. Okay. Well, let's see. She wears the pants. Well, I mean, besides the obvious pants that Banjo has, she does the breathing. Does Banjo actually do anything? I'm trying to figure it out for the counseling session later. Appears mammalian. And that's about all he does. That's all he does. He, he, he appears mammalian, and that's it. And he is 100% mammal. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funniest jokes Spongebob ever said. <laughs> still hilarious. Uh, Spongebob still holds up. <laughs> even, some, even some of the lesser episodes, they're like, yeah, still good. Okay, at least. Yes, okay. There, There is definitely a change, and I think it came with the style change. Is that the big dick? No, it, it's, it's over by Mumbo's. But I don't know how well, to... I don't want to look at Mumbo's dick, I want to look at this phallic object. I don't, I don't know what to do here. I, I... Well, the first thing to do... See, we're going to have a self-help class here. If you want to learn what to do, you just jump in and do it. You see what work? You see what doesn't work? Well, that don't work. Uh, oh, there, oh, I there can... we go. We solved one thing. Right, I can fly there. There you go. See, we're learning. All right, yeah. Yes, I can get some gold feathers, too, because I wasted some last episode. There we go. All right. Uh, where do I fly to? Over here, probably? Yeah, probably yeah, okay. right here. I mean, Sounds there's there's good. seemingly uh, nothing guess here, I'll but just sit uh, right, right here, and uh, I mean, I'm glad we flew. What? Oh, a Chompasaurus. Hi. Oh, uh, okay. You are nothing but neck. Uh, are you gonna? Smells like. Oh well. Saw that coming. Well, that's great, but uh, he chopped off my uh, my ankles in the meantime. Can you hear me in there? Oh, it's a mini game. Great. We're going doomed for this. Yep, we're going doomed for this. Is it? Oh! They're blarg ulcers. The worst kind. They got the rarest googly eyes and everything. Oh, oh. You know, my dad had Blarg ulcers. He hasn't uh, been the same since. Oh, uh, yeah, I can imagine. I mean, my Blarg ulcers broke off and went to Yoshi's Island. Yeah, you know, uh, my, my, my granddad had some, uh... 
had some blarg ulcers at burst, and now and now he talks like this. <laughs> so, do you think if we fix him, he will actually like start speaking proper English? It's like, oh, thank you, Banjo. I don't think you can fully recover from that, so I think it still speaks uh, proper English, but the cadence will still be the same. Oh, that's. that's oh, really thank sad. you for saving me. I now feel a lot, a lot better. Do you think he gets self-conscious about the way he talks? By the way, I love the strategy. Yeah, just, just the, spin the Rambo technique. Oh! Ah! Rambo the tornado. <laughs> At one point, you gotta think a superhero in a big old action flick can just point a gun in the air and shoot, and things will die. I gotta say though, having it like this with a big open field and not a ridiculous maze. This is great. This this feels pretty dang fantastic. I like this. This feels pretty dang fine. By the way, how many ulcers did we need to kill? I think 75. Oh, well. Something, something like that. So 60 or 75. Why didn't we cure it entirely? It's like, thanks for getting rid of some of my cancer, Banjo. Well, I appreciate it's like, it. You know, you know how there's good bacteria and bad bacteria? There's good ulcers uh, and bad ulcers. Yeah, okay. Good ulcers are the ones that just stay there and just hurt. Bad ulcers are the ones that grow faces and eyes and souls. Hey, finally got one. So wait, we we killed them? We killed the good ones? Uh, Do you want to play again? No, upchuck me. I'm out of here. Get me out. That felt good, and it's just overall too soon. All right, back to the dino land. <laughs> Thanks, bear bird. Kazooie, I don't think I'll ever be clean. The best part is, Kazooie's not even here. She accidentally got left inside the Nekosaurus. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. Well, looks like I gotta find another bird. Well, what now? I've got three Jiggies. I've got most of the Jinjos, apparently. You got four Jiggies, actually. Four? Four. Oh. Huh? Yeah, you're right. I got four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what do we need to do now? Uh... <sighs> do you want to play cards? Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, you yeah. You want to do something other than this? That's that's fine. Let me go ahead and right, uh, just... Yeah. There you go. Cards here. So, you know, it's always fun when we play cards, so, uh, mm -hmm. all right. Um, I'll go ahead and play first. I will play the, uh... The, uh, the Three of Clubs. Three of Clubs? Yeah. Cool. I will, uh, I'll match you and play a basic Pikachu. Mm. Oh, basic, basic Pikachu. I play Alpha Pikachu. Alpha basic comrade. Hmm. He's basically Pikachu, but a Chad. <laughs> people, oh, the Chad Pikachu, yes. People in the community call it Pikachad. <laughs> <laughs> the Virgin Polyworld versus the Chad the Pikachu. The Chad Pikachu. God, I, I, I can imagine Pikachu being Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um... Oh, you, you see that face? See those cheeks? Uh huh. He'll steal any girl. Yeah. He stole me. Well. He pretty much stole everybody. He stole Clefairy's job, let's say that, too. Uh, I'm gonna play a Wall of Junk. One of my favorite magic cards. Wall of Junk? Wall of Junk. Alright, well, what, what, what's the card? It's a... Z <laughs> it's a Digimon card. <laughs> I'm kidding, shut up! <laughs> no, Wall of Junk. It's a 0-7 wall that when it blocks and takes damage, it goes back to your hand. Magic the Gathering feels like D&D &D kind of put into a card game. It pretty much is. And now that Magic has a D&D &D set, which I love, by the way. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things. It happens. Oh, shit, is that the phallic thing? Yeah, in fact, you can even see a bit of the, you know, the tits. Ah! Like, yeah, well, yeah. See, there's the spoon, and here are the drips. Mumbo spoon drips. Hmm, didn't need to think about that today. I don't need to think about Mumbo getting drips, either. I don't need to think... Well, unless he's very fashionable, then apparently that's called drip. I don't understand it. Well, being, uh, being fly is called being... Drip. 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 What? Yes. Yes, that is a thing. No. Like, yeah. I got really confused when I saw people just, like, posing in really awesome clothing, and they were like, this is totally drip, and I was like, are they melting? See, I know I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm in my 30s, I know I'm not hip with the young kids anymore, you know? That's why I try to uh, mm -hmm. do my own thing sometimes. But, like, a couple years ago, I really felt like I was old. <laughs> is that the TikTok era? 
it was indeed the TikTok era. There, you know, I was uh, working with a young kid at, at my job, and uh, his, uh, he was definitely a Zoomer. Mm. This motherfucker was on TikTok, this guy was on Tinder, this guy had a terrible work ethic, and uh, he kind of got fired, I think, for being mm -hmm. a terrible worker. But it's just his demeanor and the way he acted. I looked at him and, and like, my god, I feel fucking old. <laughs> that's fire, man. <laughs> that's fire. Like, people don't say that's dope anymore. It's like, that's fire and bet. I still say that's rad. It's fucking rad, man. That's pretty rad. It's pretty rad. Some, some terms in the 90s just, you know, don't die out. Well, except for those who never used them in the first place. Tubular, that died out. Rad, I think you bring rad back. Radical, probably not. Cowabunga! That's only for Turtles fans. Correct. I was never a Turtles guy. Um, I think I had like a little stint just because, you know, oh wow. Like the same way I was into Power Rangers, you know, not so much. I enjoyed it, just the toys and some of the flashy images on TV. I feel like I missed so much. Then Be and then Dragon Ball Z happened and then, well, yeah. Yeah, see, like, I grew up with... Uh, Beast Wars, Transformers. Mm. Those are my favorites. Mm. Had all the toys. Mm -hmm. It was great. And I think Tigertron is getting a re-release, and I'm, like, overly happy. And Michael Bay is gonna fuck it all up here in a bit. <laughs> but, uh... It's, ow. Ah! Well, that's just terrible. But, yeah... Terrible! I, oh, no! <laughs> no, I, I never did, uh... Never did the Turtles. But the Turtles these days are, like, awesome. Yeah, this is a pretty good day to, to be a Turtles fan. You got, you got these great shows, you got, you yeah. know, they, they have female turtles that aren't stupid now, like Venus de Milo was. This new, uh, this new game that's coming out, the pixelated brawler, that looks fucking sweet. Yeah, it does. Looks totally rad, dude. Adding April O'Neil? I mean, that's awesome. Shoot, I need to play a Turtles game. <laughs> and also, I want to bring Cowabunga back. I did play some of the uh, NES ones. I didn't play the infamous NES one. I think I played the straight up beat em up one. I actually have the NES one. That got given to me. I got that too. I don't have the green cart though. There's a green cart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just yeah. Like colored green or colored green. I don't have it, but I could have sworn there was a green cart. Nani the fuck? <laughs> we need to bring that back. <laughs> well, I can actually speak it, so you know. <laughs> what does Nani mean? What? What? Nani the fuck? That makes too much sense. Nani the fuck? Yeah, I mean. I get I... Nani the fuck? Well, since we're going back into our past, any other shows that you either wish would come back? Because th there's a, been a big nostalgia break in the line lately. Well, there's, sh there's shows I liked back then and shows I don't want to see back again. Legends of the Hidden Temple is back. Like, uh, you know, you I'm a huge, huge Rugrats fan. Rugrats was my jam back in the day. It, uh -huh. it really opened my eyes to a lot of things you know, in terms of uh -huh. animation, voice acting, things like that. Uh -huh. And how about that new series? Uh, what about it? Uh, what about it? Yeah, what, how about what, how what about, about, about what? I, 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 I never what? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about that new series? Huh? I heard Stu talk, and I was like, oh, it's, it's not the same. I don't care if he's dead. It's just well, well that's what I thought was. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to say it was like insulting, but. Why would you bring it back when a lot of your cast is no longer with us? It just, it just any, sounds wrong. Is there any point? No. It just it, it just doesn't sound right. Just banking on the nostalgia crowd. The very At the very least, have actors that sound like the old voices. And that's what kind of blows me away. The nostalgia crowd are some of the pickiest motherfuckers out there. So? We, 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 we have standards. Which is why I'm saying, when you bring back a cast that isn't the entire cast, won't they bitch? Correct, they will! Ah, here, ah, here we go. Let's figure out where I'm going. It's a, We need Mumbo to go in here for something. He has a pad in here. Yeah, he's got a swinging pad, yo. To take care of one of the problems of this stupid family. Hey, he's rad. You making the sick one better? Yeah. Are one of these guys named Tricky? No. Missed opportunity. Because Although, the, the Stegosaurus and Diddy Kong Racing was named Tricky. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they use the same models for that. Yeah, same guy they use for Diddy Kong Racing they bring over here for Banjo 2, and then they refine it and add a better texture, and there's Prince Tricky, best part of Star Fox Adventures. 
Now, I always keep thinking about Star Fox Adventures, like, that was a good game, then I remember Tricky, I'm like, oh, yeah, him. You know, when we did Star Fox Adventures, I don't remember a goddamn thing about that game. <laughs> I remember that there was snow at one point, and that's it. I was, there was parts I liked. I mean, I, overall, I came from Star Fox Adventures like is a positive experience. I I liked it. I also remember that you that, that every thumbnail had dinosaur language on it. Yeah, every episode title had dinosaur language. At the end, I would translate it. And and that's it. That was it. That's all I remember about that game. How could it be so forgettable? Because it's it's it, it could have been better. Watch this. <laughs> Just had a little mini exorcism. We got a barren bird to help you with that. Mumbo's got to break his spine to sit back in his chair. Oh, just imagine, because I already have, like, problems with my back, and, you know, I got to readjust in my seat here. Oh, there we go. I got bad chair problems, too. I got I, I, I got a big, uh, voluptuous ass. It's very, <laughs> very peachy. I, I like to sit and lean back on things a lot. I need uh -huh. I need a fucking chair that can handle that. I need a chair that can handle my hot ass. My hot, peachy, voluptuous ass. <laughs> Chiseled for your enjoyment. I think people are getting the wrong idea of my size. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. This is an episode of Banjo-Tooie, not my dating profile. We always talk about ass in these episodes. Why? Because asses are funny. They are funny. They make the fart noises. It's hilarious. You know, I would I would make another ass joke, but yeah, uh huh, gotcha. Did you get it? Mm hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. I just didn't want to be at the butt end of a joke anymore. <laughs> Don't be an asshole. <laughs> Don't be cheeky. Boo! This episode's crap. That's what you sphincter. What the name is Scrat? <laughs> oh no. We're gonna play doctor. I don't wanna play doctor. But I just brought him here. Uh, Scrat's gone. Scrat, Scrut, and Scrunt. My three kids. She, uh, she's off in uh, Witchy World, I think. And I think we just gotta unlock the train station and she'll run her way back here or something. Didn't we unlock the train? Yeah, I think so. Okay. But I think I think we gotta go back and say, "Hey, the train's ready," and she'll go. Oh, come on! Don't be self-aware now. <sighs> We're in the dinosaur world, for God's sake. I hate it when games are overly self-aware. Save that for the self-aware world. The world where you're just programming code. Ah. <laughs> uh, whatever. There. <laughs> Full health, I guess. Yeah. My oopsie has been undone. Welcome to Terry Land. The gift shop is right next to the dead Stegosaurus. Pay no mind to the bite mark in its chest. It's a little tiny bite mark. Damn it, Banjo! Little itty bitty, he just couldn't. He just couldn't wait any longer. The dinosaur smelled so good, he had to eat it. So I should have mentioned what Mumbo did to Wumba's tent. Uh, he made it big. Which means we are going to be a bigger dinosaur. You are right. I love that I can predict this crap. Which means that this just became a lot more unfun. <laughs> oh, Daddy T-Rex. Please stop using the word Daddy. Yo, what's up? You can call me. Uh, oh, no. that was a long one, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's so giddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Big T Rex, I like it better than T Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what the kind of a jump was that? Oh, well, I wonder is... if these are the same physics as the Raptor from Conquer. Yeah, It'd make a lot of sense. Yeah. All of that for a Jinjo. You're All not kidding. for a Jinjo. We got 35 seconds to go back <laughs> into the tent, switch back to a bird bird, and then run back over there to get the fucking Jinjo! Change me back, change it's me back. It's like everything I'm doing is stuff that's not for a fucking Jiggy. It feels like I'm just spinning my wheels here. Spinning my wheels. 
Well, at least this is one step closer to a future Jiggy you probably won't be able to get until you fly through five hoops. It's not even- it, it just opens this! This- this- this, this great, that's it! Yes! Well, at least we got a Jiggy out of that! Finally! From the brown Jinjo family! Which- which I guess is nice, but there's- that's not a Jiggy for Pterodactyl Land! Ugh. What if this is just a giant troll stage and there actually aren't any Jiggies? Like, you're accidentally collecting Jiggies for future levels. So how do you get four, then? I know, those will show up in, like, Space World, or show up in... You know, well, let's see, we've already had cavemen, we've had dinosaurs, what else can they throw at us? So this is level, what, five? Five. So we got... Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's doing the counting on fingers. What do we got left? We've got an industry level, uh, very, which is a very rusty bucket bay looking level. Yes! And then after that, we've got, uh, I think, a... We've got a cold and fire stage. So, a hell level, gotcha. And then we got a sky stage. Three more stages. Yeah. Does this technically have less stages than Banjo Kazooie? I don't think so. Or possibly the same amount. I don't. You have to double check on that because I think there's like a ninth level, but it might just be for you know the ending. So I guess the technicality would be Grunty's tower as stage nine. But then again, I think it'd still be a hundred jiggies because Aww. the Jinjos don't count as jiggies for the individual stages anymore. Hmm. I think they're their own thing. Well, shoot. That just messes up all the counts, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know what the final count's gonna be, but hey, you know, at this point, we're just kind of going forward, doing stuff, and hoping that it gets us closer to the end. Uh-huh. No, I'm down for that. All right, we gotta hurry. The, these uh, electric eels respond fast, and they catch you very quickly, and they will make you hurt. Oh, I thought you were about to say, and they just kill you. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Gotta get these noughts. Oh, let's see. Stage six is the one where you're in, uh, in the place where you died. You're in the Shadow Realm, basically. I hope you enjoy running around as Corpse Banjo. One more, one more, one more. Wait a minute, we don't have a horror theme stage in this game. Unless I'm being stupid. Am I being stupid? Let's see, we had the we had the Mayan Temple, we had the mines, uh -huh. we had the, uh... Both kind of, eh. We, we had the, uh, amusement park. Amusement park. And then we had... Jo the, the jo we had Jolly Roger Bay, Jolly Roger yeah. Bay, and we got this one. Then Grunty Industries, then Hailfire Peak, and Cloud Coven Cove, whatever? Where the hell's my horror stage? It's in the level design! Aw, come on. <laughs> I want to be scared. Let me be scared. Well, if you're asking to be scared, you won't be scared. Well, I can at least go for theming. Where's my theming rare? It's, it's like when someone says, hey, make me laugh. I hate that. I hate that so much. So you know what I do whenever uh, someone asks me to, for me to make them laugh? Laugh at them. <laughs> okay, that only works for me. Statistically, that'll work on at least 5% of the people. You have a point there, yeah. I don't know if I said this before, but if, if I were to go into a crowd of, like, you know, 2,000 people, and I just go... <laughs> at least one person will laugh. Maybe in a group, maybe even everybody, because everyone will laugh at the absurdity of it all. And then you'll have the guys on the outside of the circle, they're just like, what was that? I don't know, sounded kind of funny. What'd you get? That's a thing for Banjo. What'd you get? I think I got the taxi pack. What the hell is that? That's a move where you can scoop things up and transport things. Oh, come on. He... Back in Witchy World, there were those uh, no. there were those bratty little kids, remember? He didn't have the ability to pick things up. But, but well, it's it's a taxi pack, so they go into the pack. How useless is this bear? So, uh, there, there's there's kids at Witchy World, right? The Boggy's three little kids. Yeah. Uh, one of them uh, wants some food, one of them wants some other food, but the third one is too fat to move. You put him in the pack? So you put him in the pack and you bring him back home. Ridiculous. That's stupid. Ridiculous. It's, 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 mm. It's like, yeah, we're boasting all these new moves, but should you have even included them in the first place? Maybe this is where the context-sensitive pads came from. It's like, fuck creating new powers, just 
give the player what they need at that moment in time. It just, Bad Fur Day feels just like the top hat to years of stellar gameplay. Just <laughs> after cranking him out, it's like, all right, now fuck it, we're just gonna do whatever we want. Uh huh. And I love that. Because that was right before Grab by the Ghoulies and the acquisition to Microsoft. I haven't played a lot of Conquer, but I'm glad I can still do a decent voice of him. It makes me cry. It's gotta do the lift just right. That's all. You know, I just realized my 10 year anniversary is coming up. So is mine. Should we, oh my should we who, celebrate? Oh my gosh. Yeah, but by doing what? I mean, what were our first projects? Conquering Goemon, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I got I got some material left to do some Goemon. You, however, you gotta... Oh, no. I've got an idea. Oh, no. I've got an idea. Oh. We'll be fine. Uh, we, we, we'll be fine. Hmm. <laughs> It's not, it's not like I'm going to redo my first project. There's no point in that, because I'm actually very happy with how my first project came out. Yeah, you did, you did both the original and the remix. There's no point in that. At but the same time, who would be stupid enough to do two different games that are practically the same at the same time twice? I don't know. Maybe me, if I had enough ideas. Who would be the idiot dumb enough to do that for a JRPG? Mm. Well, I'm the idiot who played Nocturne, so... <laughs> it's like, so, oh, I'll play it blind! It'll be fine! It'll be it'll great! Be, it'll be great! It was not great. Me and Dante's magical adventure turned out to just be, I have no friends and everyone hates me. That's what it is. I have no friends and I don't agree with, with anybody else. It's like, hey, do you want to, like, rule the world and have demons run everywhere? What? Uh, no, not really. Well, then we can't be friends! What? Uh, huh? But demons are bad, though. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, but did you ever think that maybe it's just how the way things are supposed to be? See, that's what I find amazing about Devil Survivor, is you have so many endings to choose from. Oh, yeah. It's ludicrous. And the thing is, everyone's motivation is totally sound, at least for the most part. Because some people, they just be fucking crazy. <laughs> ah, this one's just Kazooie. For most uh, Megami Tensei games, it's just three endings. Mm, the, good, good, bad, and the neutral. The neutral ending where you're just kind of like, well, things isn't fixed, but it's better than what they were, so cool. Then the good ending is always like, and then God took over and turned <laughs> humanity into a hive mind. There was no more free will or individuality, but there was peace forever. And then there's a bad ending where, uh, yep, uh, the, the demons took over and, you know, they un unleashed a new world order. Except now all the humans are basically dying and dead because all the demons are eating them. So, uh, yeah, good job, jackass. Yeah, I think Catherine learned a couple things from Devil Survivor and other Shin Megami Tensai's where there are so many endings, it's kind of ridiculous. It's like, oh, what slightly different thing am I going to get this time? Oh, it's completely different and everything has changed. Alright, this is Hatch. Ah, we did it! We know how to hatch eggs. Yes! So the, the hopping around eggs that we see around here, we have to go... We have to go find them all and approach them as Kazooie and Kazooie only. Because Banjo can, you know, reach into his backpack, pull Kazooie out and slam her on the ground and put her back in, but he can't take her out and set her on an, on an egg. Busy work. Her. It's just busy work. It's time to do a little busy work. Everyone's like, oh, the split-up is so great, and I thought the split-up was the most egregious, agonizing thing ever. Time to do a little busy because, work. Because I can't split up on my own. I can't, I can't do whatever I want to. I gotta do it this, these special places. We have a switch your only donkey can push. Yeah. And then later you get Diddy to help. And it's all for a banana for Chunky. Oh my god, kill me. I can't even get into his cave. Can you look at me while you're talking to me? Oh, great. We got a turf war going on. No, well, can't even get... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> You're turning into a caveman. And that's my review of Pterodactyl Land. I don't think it's going to have a very high Yelp score by the end of this. 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5. Uh, A+. Plus. Uh, uh, too much water. Um, hmm... Sonichu. I don't know, I'm running out of things to say. Wow, yeah, you are. 
I'll come up with better commentary in the next episode, I promise. I'm glad we don't have a lot of Chris Chan commentary in our, in our uh, episodes. <laughs> it's better if that rabbit hole stays closed. Yeah, I mean... Like, very much closed. I will, thank you, Father. For, forget I even mentioned. <laughs> oh my god. Ass. Ugh. Booty cheeks. Bum bum. But. So that guy on the ledge. Yeah. He's the only one left. And how do you do it? I don't know. I'm gonna yeah. go back to the oh. beginning and start over and think, because I hate this level so much. Think. I'm like think. I'm, I'm about to be nearly done again. No. I need you to keep playing. No, I mean nearly done with this level and just do the rest in backtracking. <laughs> just fuck it. I'm not I'm not quitting. Don't don't get me wrong. I've come too far to quit now. Fuck it. But uh, I'm I'm not having the kind the sort of uh, organization or the kind of uh, the whimsy is fun. D I d I'm, I'm I'm not having uh, the, for another ginger. <laughs> another fucking ginger. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Everything is a Jinjo here! Or a Cheeto page! Or an empty honeycomb! Barely any fucking jiggies! And the, the jiggies that I was supposed to get! Oh, you gotta go over here, you gotta go out of the level and get over here, you gotta get this over here, you gotta go up here, you gotta go right over there, you gotta get find things over here, get over there, and then we'll give you the jiggy! Sold to the Baron Bird! <laughs> ah! Alright, so how do you kill this dude? Show me how you kill this dude. I thought dude. we already killed him, though. We'll kill him again. No, you didn't, because he hurt your fingers. Oh, right. Yeah, and I didn't go back and do it. Wait, can't you just shoot grenades at the guy? Dude, how did I get the guy on the top? How did I... When did I... I hate this level. Shoot a grenade! Because that's not going to reach. Yeah, it's going to reach. I just have to aim up. Kind of lob him. There you go. And then... That's it? Bam. He had the jiggy? He had the jiggy. Because I beat all the rock nuts. Which was not... The tribe that that other guy who was blocking the cave was Why? talking about. Why? Uh, there are three tribes in this fucking thing. I hate this level. I hate this level. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. I take back everything I said about Jolly Roger Lagoon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll go back to that stupid underwater cavern and do everything all over again. Just please, enough of this fucking level already. God. Oh, this is how you kill him. You go up behind him. Or no? I, I, well, I, I think they would uh, turn around and see me anyway. So. So how do you do it? I think well, I did it already. Apparently. Oh, you just, you just didn't want to show it, did you? I just either forgot about it or... <laughs> yeah, he's dead! Oh, well. Oh, shit! Well, show the clip. <laughs> How do you kill this dude? And... There's your Jiggy. Or your Jig... Oh, oh, yeah, it was a Jiggy! All right, another Jiggy, but from the Jinjos! <laughs> None of the... <laughs> of course one's... Hey, you were at least getting a Christmas card this year from the Jinjos. <laughs> well, well, good. Maybe a fruitcake. All right. I'm, Are I'm, we allowed to move on? I'm just... I'm, I, I'm done. I've been here for, like, two hours already. And I feel like I haven't done a goddamn thing. A I've, goddamn thing. I've been here for two hours. Lights are fading. Palms are sweaty. Ugh. I could really go for a bowl of mom's spaghetti. Oh, mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. 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 F out of here, dude. I'm just, I'm just going around like any anything more you have do you have to teach me anything anything at all? I'm gonna be a triceratops now, <sighs> or a three horn. There we go. Go back to the nostalgia talk. I I I, I think I just gave up. <laughs> I think I just gave up. It's like I'm done. <laughs> Next I'm done. Time on Banjo too. I've I've just had enough. <laughs> it's over. I'm done. I'm done. Moving on. Next time on Banjo Tooie, new stage. Bye. Peace. <laughs>